but whatever. So here we are. I'm going to try to access these lights without unbolting, but it looks as if that's going to be pretty hard. Maybe not on this side, though. It looks like I could actually get to it. But the other side, I would have to remove the filter or go through the corner. I'm not sure. Well, guys, would you look at that? We just pulled the cords out from through here. I was able to find them where they were there, towards the bottom. But these are to the LEDs. We'll cut the cords and make it longer so I can actually access them. But that's cool that I was able to get those out. First of all, taking this off, pulling off the grill, going behind the fender, unbolting that, and then pulling the whole light fixture out. I was able to get that. But now the other side, I have to get the cords from there. But what I'm seeing is that I won't be able to replace the lights with LEDs unless I take the whole headlight out. Because this is actually housed with some kind of rubber. <laughs> oh, I think we have this other one, man. I can somehow reach down in there and feel it i'm hoping that these actually are a bit long enough oh they definitely are look at that <laughs> i'm not gonna have to pull off the whole front end of the truck to get to these lights that's perfect so in the garage over here two packages came in the mail one right here and here let me unbox these real quick with my pair and you guys' favorite rusty scissors. Alright, so for the first package, open that up. There we go. We got a wiring harness. Same one with the switch, but I'm waiting on one more package so that way I don't have to manually switch this anymore. And that's what I'm probably going to do with the other one. There we go. Check that out. And we got some kind of card. Special tree for select customers only. $100 wine voucher. Perfect. Dark. 120 piece mini auto car fuel set. Look at that. Got fuses for days, man. Pretty much an unlimited supply. We got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And 30. Of course, they give you the ones that I'm not going to need. I'm going to definitely be using the 5s and 10s, possibly the 15s the most. I guess what I'm going to do for today is just wire this up like I have the other one until the third package comes in the mail. And then we'll be able to fully install these daytime LEDs. But as of right now, I just want to test them out. This is basically the same exact wiring kit, which it actually is from from what I have in the truck now for the fog lights. Grab these. Oh, one sec. There we go. Let's grab these real quick. Get the wire. Extended the other side with some extra cord that I still had from when I did the fog lights. So this cord actually goes to the other LED lights. And by LED lights, I mean these going around both lights. So I think they're hooked up to one cord because that's all I could see down there. So we got this side here, which will just go straight to the wiring harness. This side will go into the wiring harness. It'll all meet right here. And I'm just going to wire the other light similar to how I did this side. Now, if you look at this switch, it's definitely different. I mean, even the material on the outside is a lot different. The other one's kind of clear. I took the switch off because I didn't want it just running all the time, even though it is on the switch. I took it off anyway, it should be in here somewhere. There it is. See, this switch is, is definitely a lot different. I mean, maybe not by a lot, but it's cooler. See, that's that switch. So now I'll be able to tell them apart, but the design is definitely different. What I'm going to do is wire up the harness. Pretty much exactly the same as I did that. I'm going to have the switch over there for now until I get the one last crucial part of this to get these running as well true daytime running lights and just look how cool those look man i can't wait to see them when they're on thinking about either going with leds or hids i know hids would be a lot brighter but i mean i also don't want to get pulled over having the risk of getting pulled over for something so bright plus i'm also gonna have to store those boxes in there somewhere and they're also more delicate and fragile hids leds would be a lot cheaper i don't even think i need to run a canvas just going to rig this side onto these connectors the same one I did with the fog lights and it works works pretty good. So I got the black and red assuming that the the white is red I'm going to take I know the red one falls down so 
No need to use this one first. Oh man, they give you a different connector on this one. Okay, we got that side taken care of right there. That should work pretty well. So here's the rest of the wires. If you can see that, I unhooked the switch for now. Standing on a stool. But I'm gonna wire this under the one bar. The side that's gonna go over to the battery. Just the same way, it's exactly the same way as the last one. My bad, I meant the ignition side. Here's my grounding location. Might not be the best, but it'll work for me. Now I'm gonna pull the fuse box lid off. And then I'm going to hook the positive up to the side of the fuse box for now until we get the other package in the mail to change this entirely. Temporarily. I'm not gonna be too worried about getting a good spot. So for the positive position, it was a 10 millimeter and the negative, it was a nine. Here we go, close up the fuse box lid. Now I'm going to hook up the battery side we're gonna test her out and see if she works all right guys so we just wired it up the switch is the switch has power to it so I'm about to test her out and see if she works great uh, <laughs> we could just tap into the headlights and just call it a day you know just have it turn on when the headlights turn on but I actually think I want these to be functioning daytime running lights and of course if I decide I just want them to be turning on with the headlights, then we could just rewire it again. No problem at all. I'm just glad that I didn't have to pull off basically the whole front end and unbolt the fender just to do this job. So I'm almost done now, and it's crazy that I've come this far. So let's flip that switch and see if it works. Got the switch right up here. Three, two, one. Oh, wrong switch. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Both sides are working. That is amazing. It's kind of got, I swear it's got a little bit of a bluish to it. That looks so good. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Now, obviously we can't enjoy it as much because it's not nighttime, but I think I'll get, update you guys whenever it does get dark and show you guys what it truly looks like at night. But this looks so good. Holy cow. I still need to get LEDs in the fogs and I still need to get LEDs in the regular headlights for high beam and low beam. And of course, I thought about HID as well. I'm not really sure which route I want to take with that yet. But this looks so good. I just wanted to get that wired up because I was just exposed wire for, well, just features that weren't even working yet. And now, at least I know they work great. And I know LEDs last forever, but that looks really good. That looks so good. Man. Holy cow. I love that, man. I don't know if it shows up that well on camera. Let me bring you guys a little closer. But look at that. That looks so cool. It's still pretty bright outside even though it's cloudy, but at night I'm sure that'll look so sweet. Until I get that third thing in the mail, I won't be able to properly wire both these lights, but 